Hey guys, it's your pal the coin guy here. I'm at the Bank of Canada Museum. I have the lovely privilege of showing you numismatic <laughs> stuff from my hometown of Ottawa. Uh, it is cold outside, but it's warm in here, so let's go check out some fun coin stuff. So, as you can see, I brought my father along for this uh, trip, and uh, he got to see this museum for the first time as well. It's quite fun because you make like a little avatar at the beginning of your trip, and as you access things, um, your avatar goes along your trip with you, and at the end you actually like put the avatar into the system, so it means like a part of you actually stays with the, with the museum, or at the heart of the system. So a lot of this museum isn't just simply about coins per se, but also about kind of how does economics work in Canada or, you know, what role does Canada play in world economics, that sort of thing, uh, which I think is really cool. And it actually really makes you look at the bigger picture because uh, so, it is the Bank of Canada's museum as well. So there's stuff like this that they have, uh, weights that are used for weighing different coins, which obviously these are older Canadian ones, but you really understand how economics works. How are, how do coins fit into this system? So you see here some Chinese weights, um, because they want to explain how the system works on an international scale, not just a Canadian scale. And of course, there's stuff about uh, the creation of coins in Canada. So how does that work? and Or how did it work? Because of course, we used to have different colonial currency until 1858, where we started creating our first kind of coins as Canada. And again, you get stuff like this, you know, World Trade Center, stuff like that. And how, how does Canada fit into the world system? Which is cool as well, because they also then have like these ancient coins. You see some ancient Chinese ones there. There's a couple really nice Islamic ones they have there, uh, including some Sasanian. You can see here at least one Umayyad, or maybe that's Abbasid. I'd have to sit there and actually read it to tell. That's Umayyad. Uh, Sasanian, woo. Yeah, it's a nice, nice gold. I think that's Abbasid. And this really does get you to understand how does Canada fit into the system. So you see there like a Canadian and a Saudi coin. Mm. And even they have stuff like this, where it's stuff that has been accepted as coins over the years in different countries. So we see some African examples there. Uh, these oxide ingots from uh, the Mediterranean, especially Cyprus, were a big part of the economy in the Bronze Age. And you also have like cocoa beans, which in uh, pre-contact Mexico, very important. And also even, you know, just coins from, coins and banknotes from around the world. It really does show you that there's an international system at play here. And Canada is just one part of that system. These lovely little Chinese ingots. They're so fun to look at. I like looking at Chinese stuff. It's kind of partially what I do. You also have stuff like this, which shows how banknotes are made. Um, so you really see how it goes from a drawing to an engraving and then to the final product. So obviously these being of uh, Queen Elizabeth II, which especially given her passing, these are quite fascinating in their own right. And then they had stuff like this, like the, the famous Canadian Ooh, Lucky Looney. Um, which for hockey fans, we all know what that is. You have the, the death notes or hell notes, uh, which are commonly used in China and throughout Asia, and different uses of coins beyond being used as coins. It's 
so there you go that was the uh bank of canada museum uh free entry highly recommend it uh their hours look it up online because it changes by the season i think they had a really good collection it was nice and interactive uh if you're not interested in coins necessarily but just economics it can also be quite interesting i enjoyed it dad i think you enjoyed it, it very nice thumbs up Whew. uh pick the book about the coins in newfoundland you know gotta love your newfie coins and uh, that's all for today guys so i hope you enjoyed the visit i know i did and see everyone next time bye bye for now